Hi everybody, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what to do when you're going swing dancing and you have really nothing around you to hold on to. You don't have the comfort of your home, um, the dance studio, a chair, anything. So I'm trying to give you something that you can use um, when you get to the dance floor and you don't really have too many options around you. So follow along. And these are just a smattering, a couple of examples Everybody is different and has their own needs, but this is just an example of something that I actually do myself when I get to a dance floor and I'm feeling a little bit stiff or I just want to make sure I warm up before I go and give it my own dance floor. So first thing I would do is a little bit of a calf stretch. So I might make sure my heel is down, my toes are facing forward. I could just stay here. I could also just put some pressure on my thigh. I could hold myself up by my hips a little bit and just make sure I feel a stretch in my calf muscle. I'm going to show you on the other side. I'll do something like this, make sure my heel is down. I can just hang in space like this. I can lean on my thigh a little bit, on my hips. And it's just a way to get my calf muscles to wake up before we start to do our, our swing dancing, Lindy Hop, Collegiate Shag, Balboa, you name it. Um, and I would only hold it for about eight to 10 seconds. So this might be something that I actually do as you see here. So it's not too long of a hold. Remember, you're about to do a very explosive movement. You don't want to hold your muscles too lengthened for too long. The next thing I would do is something that's simple. Some people might look at you. You could just be actually pretending that you're going through your bag and putting your phone in your bag or taking water out. It's just to do a squat. And you can kind of assess, hey, maybe I need to stretch out this quad a little bit more, lean on it. Maybe I need to stretch out this calf a little bit more. I can switch sides and stretch out this ankle more. I can put more pressure on my quads. So it stretches, as you can see, I'm stretching my quad out, stretching my ankle out, my hips and my back. And I can just hang out here for a little bit, switch directions and come back up. Doesn't have to be for very long. Next thing I might do is to get my lower body ready. I might just do some small squats and it could just look like you know this or I could actually be doing some squats to wake up the quad muscles because in swing dance we're in this athletic position quite a bit and so you want to be ready to wake up those quad muscles by doing a couple squats it kind of gets these activated next one is something that nobody has to know what you're doing it's just clenching your butt muscles so I'm doing it right now I'm just squeezing my butt muscles waking them up if you want to do a little bit more than that you can squeeze and lift up just kick behind you Okay, just wakes up your glute muscles a bit. And it, you know, one of the reasons I do it is to be ready for this step. Or if you're about to do a rock step, right? So getting these muscles to wake up, a lot of times it can be pretty dormant and inactive after a full day of driving or sitting down or being on your couch. Um, so just a little bit of a kickback wakes up those glute muscles. Next, because in swing dance, we do a lot of rotations and spinning, I like to twist my back and make sure that I'm a little bit more mobile in this direction. We always think of front and back, but we forget that there's a lot of twisting involved. So I might even assess and I would say always confer with your own body and your own stiffnesses, but I would just do a stretch left, right. And if you notice, it's not just my back I'm moving, it's actually my hips as well. So I'm starting to open up my hips by doing these twisting motions. If I'm a little bit tighter on one side, I might do a little bit more on that side. Maybe I'm a little stiffer today on the left side. Might spend a little bit more time there. I could also be a little bit more um, connected or disconnected. So I can just make sure it's my upper back and my back, or I can make sure it's my whole body and twist into the whole body. So my hips, my ankles are getting a movement, okay? Next is my shoulders. So I, I will kind of do something like this. Just be prepared for any open positions, anything with my partner where I'm pulling or stretching. So it's something like this I would do. Okay, I can go overhead a little bit more. I can go across my body, do that. Next is to wake up those muscles where I'm actually engaging and pulling back. So something as simple as squeezing my shoulder blades back. I don't even have to move my elbows or hands. I can just walk around like this, squeezing backwards. Say hi to people who I haven't seen in a while, or just be like, hey, I'll dance for the next song. But just squeezing your shoulder blades back, walking around, um, just starts to wake up the muscles. So 
just to wrap everything up and just to summarize everything, I would begin with a little bit of a calf stretch, I'm standing, short amounts, maybe 10 seconds at a time, do left and right. You can bounce a little bit if you want, so you just be very gentle if you bounce. Okay. And that would go into a squat, okay? Now I'd play around with different sides, make sure if one side is a little bit tighter than the other, I focus on it, or I can just hang out here for a little bit. Come up, do some mini squats, okay? To wake up those quads, maybe do it to the beat of the music, maybe not. Next, I would squeeze my butt muscles, my glutes, just get those to wake up. Now I do a little bit of an extension, and I'm just looking like I'm getting ready to dance. You know, no one's, you know, needs to be, <laughs> you know, watching or wondering what you're doing. If they ask you, you'd be like, hey, I learned this on Swing Strong, okay? So next, I do a little bit of a twist. I could either do focus on my back or I could focus on the full body. A little bit of a twisting in there. Get my shoulders a little bit loosened up. So reach across. Then I would squeeze my shoulder blades back, engage those back muscles, walk around. And then that's my mobility. Additionally, what I would do is, before I get on the dance floor, I'd take one song and I would go maybe half speed, maybe even less and do triple step. And then as I feel a little bit warmer and loosened up, I would go and try to find the actual beat of that song and try to keep up. And then I'm ready to ask my first partner for a dance. So that's a, a smattering of a couple examples of what you can do on a dance floor. It won't take you much more than like two to three minutes. But just doing that little bit, spending that little bit of time before you get out to your first song might help wake up muscles, loosen up some muscles, and just get you better prepared rather than just jumping in cold turkey. Now, I know that some of these are not knee friendly. Some of you may not be able to get to the ground. And I hope to make other videos that are alternatives to that that you can modify depending on your own body and what you can or can't do. So thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. and. Remember to subscribe, comment, let me know what you liked about it. Let me know any other topics you want me to cover. But until I see you next time, swing strong. My name is Adrian Miranda. Thanks for coming.